unaffordable and unattainable. Those are just some of the ways many have described Toronto's housing market. Well, tonight, City Council is hoping to address what many are calling Toronto's housing crisis by moving forward with designing a vacant home tax. Now, that's in hopes of making thousands of units available while also driving down housing prices. I hope it does, there will come a day when it doesn't raise one cent, not one cent, because that means it will have been successful in making sure that every housing unit is being used for the purpose for which it was intended, which is for somebody to live in. Mayor John Tory, a big supporter of this tax, has said it could raise the city's revenue by as much as $66 million to help fund other housing initiatives. It would require property owners to declare whether their home is being occupied. Now, those that are not could be taxed, much like what is currently being implemented in Vancouver. Much of the talks were centered around having the tax set at 1%, something housing advocates say just won't cut it if the city is looking to make a real impact in increasing supply. They need to put this vacancy tax a little bit higher. We own it to every Torontonian that is a struggle right now to pay rent. To every Torontonian that is not able to pay to, to buy good food because they need to pay rent, to every Torontonian that is going to be evicted, we own it. And this is why Acorn is fighting very hard and we say 3%, this should be what we need. The Toronto Region Real Estate Board says it would like to see tax exemptions for individuals such as commuters, snowbirds and others who cannot rent due to market conditions. In a statement they say in part, it is important to have a clear understanding of the intended purpose and, and policy objective of a municipal tax on vacant homes in Toronto. Given the current state of Toronto rental market, the purpose of such tax is not immediately clear at this time. Now, the city would take about a year to plan out this tax, including public consultations as well. If everything goes through, it should be implemented in 2022.